Hello and welcome to Let's Play Sanitarium, the game that asks the question, am I just going crazy? It's a question that I've asked myself more than once during 2020, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, so it seemed appropriate. Sanitarium is a psychological horror point-and-click adventure game developed by Dreamforge Entertainment and released in 1998. Please be aware that since this is a horror game, there will be some disturbing images, though personally I don't think the game is all that scary. Then again, I don't think I've ever thought any horror movie or game was scary, so your mileage may vary. This game is also somewhat unique on my channel, since I didn't actually play this game when it originally came out. Instead, my wife Emily actually introduced me to this game when we first started dating some seven years ago. It's definitely a very interesting game, so let's jump in and try to hang on to our sanity. Before we do, actually, I want to point out this menu screen where we have uh, these eyes that follow our cursor around. And all of the icons actually have a creepy voiceover. New game. And yeah, they're all like that. Load game. Save game. Delete game. Use cinematics. That just lets you watch any movies you've already seen during gameplay. Quit game. Which, I guess, it, quitting kills you? I don't know why that's a skull. Text options. Subtitles and stuff. Audio options. Self-explanatory. Settings. These aren't very, uh, helpful. Just some performance options and gamma. Keyboard configuration. That is, if anything, even less helpful, because all it lets you do is configure the, um, well, the version key, which I don't know why you would ever need that, the quick load and quick save, which as far as I can tell don't work at all, and these switch to question mark options that only work in one part of the game. So, <laughs> it's not like that's very useful. And that's too bad, because the controls in this game are pretty terrible, as we'll see. Show credits. Return to game. I don't have a game to return to. We're gonna start a new one. New game. Tower Cells. You're not going to believe it. I found the answer. All those years, I should have seen it. There's more. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when I get home. That's a very good question. Especially because the introduction doesn't exactly tell you much. Except perhaps that you should never ever say the word, words I'll tell you when I get home when you're driving down a mountain road. Especially if you're in a movie. 
I guess we were in a car crash or something. What a creepy place. If I don't do anything, he uh, starts talking by himself. This is our character over here. And this view is a little bit confusing because we are actually in a room, which is shown by a cutout. Which it's fine that the game does that, it's just kind of weird that it starts like that because it does look a little bit weird. If you haven't seen the normal view without the cutout. So yeah, this is us. And I don't know where we are. Or how we got here. I guess we were in a car crash. That's about it. So let's look around and hopefully we can answer some of those questions. Ugh, these beds are filthy. I guess so. So the way this game works, the controls, it's not like any other point and click game where you just, you know, point and click and then you walk there. But instead you have to right click. How horrible! What kind of place is this? It is not a very nice looking place, and I don't know what this guy is doing, but it doesn't seem healthy. Diagnosis crazy. One might make the um, educated guess that we are in the titular sanitarium. But yeah, the way you walk is um, by putting your mouse in the relative spot from your character in the, of the direction that you want to walk into and then right clicking, which turns it into an arrow and then you will walk into that direction. See, now the cutaway is gone, so the layout makes more sense. That's a big rat. Don't think I can look at it. It is a very annoying way of moving around, unfortunately, but it's what we um, have to deal with. That's why these keyword options are so frustrating. Like, couldn't you have at least given me, like, I don't know, WASD or cursor key controls if this is how you're going to make me walk? No, you have to do it with the mouse. Somebody else here. At least this one looks friendly enough to talk to. Not from here. Yeah. Also, you can't just click on something you want to do and have him walk there. Sometimes it works if you're kind of close enough, but most of the time you have to walk up to anything you want to interact with first. Um, this noise is driving me crazy. The alarm noise. The switch must control the alarm. Exactly talking about this switch. That's the actual alarm. Finally, that thing was driving me crazy. I guess we can't have that in an asylum. People should already be crazy. We should be getting less crazy, not more crazy. Anyway, why was there an alarm? I guess there was a, a voice who said something about a generator about to blow. And also some suggestion that we might have stolen the car that we crashed, so... Hmm. Wonder what's up with that. We don't really know why we're here. Like that the car crash turn is crazy, or were we already crazy? It's another bedroom. Another bed. Ugh. Smells like it's soaked with urine. Okay, great. It's a detail I really didn't need to know. Guess they were tallying the number of days they were here on the wall. Seems like um, it was a lot. What horrible living conditions. You can say that again. You know, I've seen some pretty terrible asylums in movies and such. But this one uh, might be pretty near the top of the list there. A towel might be useful. Okay. Um, can we get it? Thank you. And now we have a towel. A towel might be useful. Now there's a fruit who really knows where his towel is. Yeah, you open the inventory by just clicking on your own character. It's pretty straightforward. Nothing else down here, so I guess we're going up the stairs. 
And yeah, you walk up and down the stairs automatically, and this is kind of one of the places where the controls are kind of annoying, because say you wanted to go over here, and you're like, oh, I'm just going to click here and walk in that direction, and then, nope, you hit the top of the stairs and you just go back down. So that's useful. Weird statue over here. What a strange and beautiful sculpture. I guess these are just candles? Kind of looks gruesome, but I guess if it's just candle wax, then it's not really. There's a locking mechanism in the base, but what for? Also a good question. I want to talk to some of these people, see where we are. There was a woman on the, or someone on the left here. Kind of looked like a woman, but I don't actually think it is one. Um, this guy I don't think we can talk to. Diagnosis crazy. Hey, unless you're a doctor here, um, I don't think you should be diagnosing anybody. Although, personally, I'm not a doctor, but that doesn't look like it's gonna, you know, end well for him, especially if that's his blood. Um, although, if I've ever seen any asylum in any movie ever, then it's always, like, the staff that's crazy and not the patients or things of that nature, so who knows? Some stained glass windows here. It's kind of weird for an asylum. Wonder if this tower was built for the asylum of, or just repurposed. Kind of looks like it might be the latter. Who would put pumpkins in a stained glass window? Pumpkins. I don't know. Somebody who really likes pumpkins. A stained glass window. What the hell is that? I don't know. I guess he's talking about this thing. Looks like a piece of Swiss cheese or something. <laughs> I don't know. See if we can talk to this person. Can I ask you something? Can I ask your name? The, the, the Don. I haven't heard you before. Who, who are you? I wish I knew. I, I can't remember my name. I was hoping you might know me. Stupid voice. Are you a sp, sp spirit? Um, I don't think we are. Then again, I guess we don't even know our name. Also, it seems our face is bandaged, presumably from the car crash. You can kind of tell on the normal avatar, but much easier to see in the uh, the uh, dialogue window. And yeah, this is not a woman, even though it kind of looks like one. I'm no spirit, just a man like you. Like me? The... the... Then you c c can hear the voices too, can't you? I'm not sure. These voices, spirits, ghosts, whatever they are, who are they? The fallen warriors. They demand vengeance. Okay. Why do they want vengeance? What is it they're demanding vengeance for? T -t 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 temples. The fallen temples. C c can't you hear them? C c crying out? Is this the temple? Is this place one of the fallen temples? No, 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 no. If you don't know, know, know that, you're not the w w w warrior I thought you to be. Well, I never claimed to be one, so. Also, I have to say, this is probably one of the worst attempts at doing a stutter that I've ever heard. In general, the voice acting in this game is, well, I don't want to say awful, but it kind of is. <laughs> it's definitely very corny, but I don't know, it kind of fits with the atmosphere of the game almost. Like, it kind of makes it more enjoyable, in my opinion. <laughs> it's definitely not like King's Quest V levels bad. It's just very corny, but somehow it the game wouldn't be the same if it had actually good voice acting, I think. Maybe it'd be better, but it wouldn't be the same. Something here is familiar. I keep thinking I'll get it. Where are we? I know something that you don't. Thi this is the, the village, st stupid voice. What village? Doesn't this place have a real name? A 
Of course. It's the village. The b b best place for people like you and me. The doctor here has resource. Resource. Re He's very good, Dr. Morgan. He sa sa says I'm lucky to be here, and so you must be l l lucky too. Good for you. Well done. If they have such great resources here, then why couldn't they keep this tower in better condition? That's my question. How can I find this Dr. Morgan? I think I need to talk to him. He'll find you. The b b b best witch doctor in the land he is. He'll save us. Can you tell me where anyone is? Dr. Morgan? Anyone? They f fled. Cowards. No, 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 no. Not great warriors like us. Oh, but not Morgan. He'll f find us. I'm sure he will. It would be very helpful to speak to somebody who actually, you know, is not one of the patients here. Why are you in this place? What brought you here? Isn't it obvious? Hide the d d d ding from him. Him? I don't... Sh sh shut up! Or he'll hear you, stupid voice. Okay, well that wasn't very helpful. I guess we know this place is called the village. And it is a mental hospital. And there's a doctor called Dr. Morgan. Who we should probably try to find. Still don't really know what's going on. What? Okay. Unless these are, um, you know, electric candles, which I don't think they are, given all the melted wax. That was uh, very weird. It's even more extraordinary when it's lit up. I guess so. Is this tower in the middle here? Looks like some sort of control tower. Okay. A grotesque sentinel. I will give this game points for knowing that that is a grotesque and not a gargoyle, since there's no water going through it. There is water here. That doesn't look sanitary. This whole place doesn't look sanitary, to be honest. More stained glass. Stained glass window. Looks like some children. Alright, uh, looks like we can go down on this side or stay at the top. I'm gonna go down first. Somebody in the corner there. What's he doing huddled in the corner? Trying to hide? Ooh, Perhaps? Let's find out. Here, I'll spot you. Come in. Excuse me, do I know you? Your name is... Uh... Martin. Martin, I said. Uh, do you know... Do you know who... Can you tell me my name? How the hell should I know? How can you stand all of them buzzing? Constantly buzzing. Um, buzzing? I don't hear any buzzing. What is this place? A uh, nut house, you fool. A nut house? It looks so old. What do you mean? Nut house. Looney bin. Funny farm. What don't you understand? Well, there's a lot I don't understand. For starters, why are you here? Damn bugs are driving me crazy. I'll find their hive one day. <laughs> Doc Morgan's a great help. We'll squash them. And that'll be that. Okay. I don't see any bugs. I've seen some pretty big rats around here, but not bugs. What bugs, Martin? I don't see any. Maybe they're not real. Are you serious? These blood-sucking insects are bent on destroying the world. Martin, think about it. How are some bugs going to destroy the world? Well, look at them. These aren't normal bugs. These is robots. Little eeny teeny robots. 
you know, after this year, this isn't even the craziest conspiracy theory I've heard, so... I don't even know what to think. There's a doctor around here? Doc Morgan? Exterminator. That's what he is. The best there is. He kills bugs. Dead. But they always come back. <laughs> always come back. Well, you know what I always say. The only good bug is Bugs Bunny. Wait, that's not what I say. Where is everyone? Cowards. All of them. When the alarm went off, they left us behind. Probably in on it with the bugs. Wait till Doc Morgan finds out. It's a conspiracy. So the bugs set off the alarm. Sounds likely. Like I said, not even the craziest thing I've heard this year. Not even by a long shot. Well, uh, let's see down here. Who are you? Oh my god, don't! My oh. god! Okay. I guess that taught him not to stand on the edge of a high fall with his pants around his ankles. Too bad I don't think he can use that lesson. I guess this is the generator that's about to blow? Actually, it looks like it might already have at least partially blown. That must be the generator. They said it could explode any minute. How do I get out of here? That's a good question. Can we just, like, turn the gas off or something? It's too much to ask for. What are these pictures all around the wall everywhere? Can't look at them. Something tells me that if we want to get out of here, we need to get to that control tower. Looks like there's a room in there. Looks like some sort of control tower. Also looks like we can't really get there. Hmm. Someone needs to fix that. Yeah, that's obviously the biggest problem this place has right now. That's a nasty drop. Yeah, so let's not get too close. Although actually... You shouldn't get too close to the edge. You can't actually fall. No matter how hard you try. Not a Sierra game. Um, we can't get over there. Looks like there's maybe a bridge. There's a walkway, but it's retracted. And there's a switch. Looks like some sort of control panel. Not from here. Maybe it extends the walkway, but we'd have to get there first, so that's not very helpful. Too far away. No doubt. Is there a room here with somebody inside? He seems familiar, but I can't quite remember. From the way he's acting, you'd think we'd be playing Amnesia rather than Sanitarium. Hello, I don't believe I know you. What's your name? Lenny. I'm Lenny. Lenny's my name. Well then, you must be Lenny. You wouldn't happen to know my name, would you? Nope. Mom says not to talk to strangers. Okay. I guess nobody here knows who I am. Dr. Morgan probably knows, but we'd need to find him first. Lenny, do you know where we are? This is my room. My bedroom. Do you like it? Bedroom? No, I mean the building. What's this place we're in? What's it called? My house. Um, I don't think that's true. This isn't your house. Yes, it is. Why are you here, Lenny? Can you tell me that? I was very, very bad. Bad? I can't believe that of you, Lenny. What did you do? I, uh... I ate some pumpkin pie. Okay, well, if that's bad, then a lot of people are in trouble, I guess. Pie? How could you get in trouble for that? It came from the patch. A pumpkin patch? Where is it? Where? Hmm. There were pumpkins on the stained glass window. I wonder if there's a connection. Where is everyone, Lenny? Where well, you should be. You should listen. Mother made them all go away. Um. 
Okay. I must not have heard her. Lenny, where did she tell them to go to? To school. Yeah, she made them go to school. Well, since I didn't hear your mom, can you tell me how to get to school? I'm taking that as a no. Weird. Well, none of this really is making much sense. Um, oh, there's another stained glass window here that I haven't looked at. A scarecrow on a stained glass window. Weird. I don't know. And this appears to be a dead end. But there is this cable that um, goes down to the control tower. A power cable. I'd better not touch it with my hands. We'd better not. But we have a towel. A towel. When I first played this game, that actually kind of took me a while to figure out because the perspective kind of makes it look like this isn't that close to that uh, ledge over there. Or at the very least, there's no way to tell how close it is. So, I didn't think you could reach it from there. But you can, and now that we're here, we can extend the walkway. Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. Yes. We're, we're get. Why are there bats in here? Um, we're getting back to where we were, so it's not that helpful. Let's check inside, though. Um, I guess somebody left in a hurry with these papers on the floor. There's a filing cabinet. The drawers are held shut by an electronic lock. This isn't working. Which you can't open, so that's not helpful. There must be something valuable in there. But how do I open it? I guess this is some kind of safe. Kind of hard to tell. What was I thinking? You just weren't, I guess. There's also a computer and some monitors. Hmm. What's wrong with this thing? Hmm. The cables need to be plugged in before I can use the VCR. Now we get what is probably the um, hardest puzzle ever to exist in an adventure game. You just have to plug the cables in by color. Like, <laughs> that's literally just it. So, black cable in the black plug and so forth. Very, very hard. After you've done that, you can switch it on. And see what's on the tape, I guess. Can you hear me? It's Dr. Morgan. Your delusions almost took the life from you this time. My face, it's in bandages. Where am I? Who am I? You must have thought you had somewhere important to go when you stole that car. Oh, no. You did a lot of damage to that face of yours in the crash. I'm sorry, I, I can't believe. No apologies. All we need is your best effort. And before you can give us that, you need some rest. Bruce, help our lad back to his room. Don't worry, son. We'll talk again soon. Whoa! That short circuit opened the safe! I think that VHS has seen better days. That was a little bit helpful, I guess. I suppose our delusions caused us to steal that car and then wreck it. Still doesn't really tell us what our delusions are or why we're in here. That VCR won't work anymore. It's fried. Yeah, and even though the computer comes up as a click spot, it counts as the VCR, so... That VCR won't work anymore. It's fried. You can't look up that separately. Oh, and by the way, the uh, cinematics in this game normally have um, alternating black lines, which was pretty common for games back in this uh, era. I applied a patch that removes them because uh, although the black lines make the videos appear less blocky and uh, hide some of the compression artifacts, I personally just don't like looking at that. And 
it, I also doubt it will play very well with YouTube's compression, so I like it better without the lines. Could be answers in here. There could. Let's find out. I guess we're talking to some files. Actually, the game just likes to use the conversation interface to let you read stuff. A memo regarding the tower bridge. Due to recent problems with the generator, all employees are asked to keep the tower bridge extended at all times. It will be extremely difficult to extend the bridge from the outer ring should the power go out. I guess somebody didn't get that memo. A letter for Dr. Morgan from a Professor Cunningham. Something about an ancient key found here in the asylum. The key you describe must be very old indeed. I have found documentation that may link it to Aztec culture. Though we'd have to examine the object carefully here at the Institute in order to confirm this theory. Okay, some Aztec key? Not sure what to make of that. Memo from the Chief of Security. It gives some details about a patient escape. Number 227. The memo says that the West Wing is inadequately contained, and all the patients have been transferred to the tower cells. Here! But where are they now? Interesting. I guess that might refer to our escape, which makes us number 227, which still doesn't tell us our name, unfortunately. I guess that because we escaped, they moved us here? Maybe they don't usually nor use this tower, and that's why the generator in such is in such poor condition, and as well as the rest of it, really. I hope the rest of it is better then, at least. Who knows? It's all of the memos. Let's see what's in the safe. It's some strange kind of key. But a key to what? Hmm. An ancient key. I guess that's that Aztec key that the memo talks about? Weird. What can we do with that? Well, we did see a locking mechanism in the base of the statue. And we've been everywhere else, so I guess that must be it. If we're just unlocking some weird ancient statue. This suddenly feels like Resident Evil, doesn't it? This also, this looks like an angel statue. It's not very Aztec, is it? I don't know, maybe the key is, and the locking mechanism is, but the statue itself is not? An ancient key. Could have been built later, I guess. Anyway, let's see if this works. You're alive. Am I going mad? Listen. Hear the cries of the children. The innocent are dying. And you only think of yourself. Can you not see the light of heaven has dimmed? What? What can I do? Seek the truth. Okay. Chapter 2 is The Innocent Abandoned. <gasps> and I was expecting that to open a secret passage or some way out of the tower. I definitely wasn't expecting that to happen. Looks like we're in some kind of town square or something. I have no idea 
Why are you yawning? I'm not that boring, I hope. Um, I have no idea how we got here, or where we are, or I what on earth just moving. happened. If I, put an X there, I guess we do need to get moving and figure out what is going on, but we'll have to do that in the next video.